Welcome back traders. We've had quite the wild ride the last few days with Bitcoin miners going up and down nearly 10% on quite a few different tickers with Bitcoin itself doing a bit of a dip into the 25,000 range and then quickly getting back into the 26,000s here today, but barely, barely clinging on that, that uh, onto that level. You can see here in the fear and greed index, we're at 34. So that's pretty intense right there. We haven't been in fear for a while, um, but that doesn't mean that we're looking at buying quite yet. I've got uh, a bit of news near the end of this video here to consider going into next month. So that's uh, something to look forward to here in a few minutes. But let's look at the Bitcoin price right now. It's doing a whole lot of nothing. It's very flat. Aside from a few candles, you can see yesterday it was up a bit, down a bit. Uh, to the day before that, way up. We went up almost to 27,000, all the way from this low down here at 25,800. Uh, and then yesterday we went up to 26,5, all the way down to 25,8 again. And today we've just been hovering between 26,2 and 26, clinging tightly to this range here. You can see it's it's really getting stuck right at the top of this box here at the 2630 area, uh, where it currently is at 2630. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to do any of this bouncing around. Honestly, we might just go flat with some big candles going in between it before moving up or down here. Side, this is looking a bit like a bear flag. It will need to make a move soon. Otherwise, it won't be a flag anymore. It'll be uh, more of a, like a, an accumulation or distribution zone. But currently, it's looking like a bear flag, which means if it is, we're probably going to move through this zone here, get into the lower 20s, which won't be fun for anyone uh, bullish on this, but it is a very real possibility that we could go down here into the 22s and even the 21s with the next downward move. Because when Bitcoin moves, as you've seen here, as you've seen here and back here, it moves big. Uh, tomorrow is Jackson Hole um, retreat for the feds. So Jerome Powell will make a statement tomorrow. Usually when he makes a statement, assets have a lot of volatility as he's speaking. And while he is talking to the press, I expect nothing different tomorrow. Or we might just see a really big wick in either direction and it lands flat at 26,000 again. But keep that in mind tomorrow if you have any trades going or trades planned for tomorrow. Uh, or you're just thinking about it, possibly opening something tomorrow. Keep in mind that tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time, Jerome Powell will be speaking and there will likely be a lot of volatility while he's doing that. So let's take a look at the miners today. We were down over 10% on Mara uh, for the day. You can see here we're out of this outside channel. We're coming to the bottom of this handle I drew that handles this blue line. Um, we're down near the bottom of that. If we don't turn around real soon, that's going to be negated. That's no longer in play at all. So that's getting, uh, getting pretty close to the line there. Let's look at the one day charts. The one day candles, we're getting very close. I do think we're going to touch the top of this zone here at 1014. We're already at 1050. We got real close to there today at uh, 1035 while we were on this big red candle. You can see this big red engulfing candle. Uh, anytime we get a big red engulfing candle, we might get a day or two of slight up moves. So we might get back up to this 1125 or something tomorrow. But after that, I'm expecting more downward moves, possibly into this area here, into this box. So that could be where we're headed. I think it, I'm, I'm thinking it probably is, unless uh, next month something real positive comes out of price action. Uh, Bit Digital down six and a half percent today. That's after yesterday it was up something like twelve percent yesterday. You can see this big move up in the RSI. That was all from yesterday. That's all this move right here. We moved from two thirty eight all the way up to my line, back to my line. 271. So we back tested 271 before making a big move down again back into this channel. I think um, I think we're going to stay in this downward channel for a while if we don't get a big move down. We're we're headed towards two dollars on Bit Digital. Uh, I think two dollars is really possible. I think it's highly, honestly, likely at this point that we'll do two dollars. Uh, however, if we go back up to this 270 level here, if we test that again. This third, this third attempt could be the one that breaks back through to the upside. So keep that in mind as well. If we go back up to 270 and break above it, we're probably going to get back into this larger channel up here. 
which is still a downward channel, but it's a downward channel much higher up than this current downward channel that we are in. Well, no, same with that line. It just came, I just hit this line over and over and over again. I was really surprised it didn't do it at three, but you know, the um, market will surprise you sometimes. Uh, we're still moving down, probably a two. Now, again, this is looking like a bear flag, just like on Mara. My current um, average cost is in the $3 range, so I'm heavily down on this right now. But that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at what it could be, not what it currently is. And what it can be, as I've mentioned many times before, is $33 is my minimum target up here. Anyways, bit farm. This is the wrong bit farms. That's the Canadian version. I'm not looking at the Toronto exchange. I want to see the New York exchange. Anyways, uh, so it did kind of exactly what I said it was going to do. It came all the way down, touched my line, went back to this trend line, came back into the channel, went back, tested this line, tested this trend line, almost, almost wanted to test my little box up here again before just immediately rejecting off of this trend line. It did a little liquidity sweep to close this gap. I'll draw a line here so you can see it. Did a little liquidity sweep to close that gap. As soon as it closed that gap, it came all the way back down. And that was, and now it's headed, honestly, this is again a bear flag. And it's heading down back to the 120 range where I'm expecting to see a bounce. Uh, but it could go deeper into this zone before getting that bounce. I do think we're probably done with the aggressiveness of this downward channel, at least on bit farms. We might even be looking at a potential for maybe a upward channel now on BitForms, uh, even though that is pretty soft. It's it's possible. I mean, we'll we'll test down here at 120 probably. That's my pretty. I have a pretty strong opinion that it's going to retest that 120 before coming back into this and doing an upward channel like this. But you know what? I'm going to leave this on the chart for now and see if it does it or not. I think it probably will back test here and do that. Uh, you may notice that I have dashed lines on this chart now. That's where I'm expecting a really hard rejection of a level. Like if it comes down to this dashed line, I'm really expecting at $1.8 for it to reject pretty hard. Uh, maybe not actually $1.8. It might actually wick down to a dollar, but I don't think it'll close beneath this dashed line. I think if it gets down here, it's going to reject pretty hard in the upward direction from there. That is based off of looking at the smart money indicators and the two hour chart. So this is what I looked at with that. I'll give you just a real quick breakdown of what that was. So you can see this fair value gap right here and you see this huge wick back here. So this is a big liquidity sweep into an upward move with a fair value gap left behind. That means big money came in around this area here to make sure that price did not go back below this $1.08 level. So that, that was big institutional money moving that with this. You got, you got a big liquidity sweep on the candle, on the wick, with a fair value gap left behind. That is an indication to me, anyways, that big money made that move, that big money does not want to see bit farms go below $1.08. And if it does go below a dollar eight it's probably going to be a quite the aggressive move down back to this next big old wick down here it's probably where we're headed if we get past this one so that's why that, that's what that dash line means it, it's telling me that i saw something there that was a big big move in a uh in, in a big reversal move at that level is what I'm expecting. But that's what we're looking at right now with the three that I watched. Bit Farms was down 10% today. Yesterday, let me look at the one day again, bring that back up. Yesterday, again, we had a huge, we've, we're getting these huge moves right now. It's a very volatile market. Uh, there's a lot to keep in mind right now. So be careful out there, pay attention, look at the charts, don't FOMO, don't get too excited at any of these lower levels because it could go lower. So, uh, you know, don't know. YOLO into anything immediately. So uh, September is our next month. September is a bad month for all asset classes, honestly. Uh, it's bad for the S&P 500. It's bad for the NASDAQ. It's bad for the Dow Jones. And it's bad for crypto. Uh, if you look here at this highlighted text I've got here, 
for the month of September, Bitcoin has had an average of a 6% decline during that month. There are only two years in Bitcoin's history where September was not a negative month, and that was 2015 and 2016. I don't think we're going to be a 2015 or a 2016 this year. I think we're going to stick with the trend. That's my opinion. I don't know if we'll do a full 6% decline, but if we do a 6% decline in Bitcoin, you better believe that miners will drop 15, 20% off of that move of Bitcoin. So keep that in the back of your mind. Ethereum, as you can see here, this is highlighted. Ethereum has an average decline of 8.5 in September uh, with uh, an average rise of 17.5 in October. So I'm going to be looking for lows in September. So keep those things in mind. That's the update for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a profitable day.